strike team missions. This console reports on the militia's current strike team missions, Pathfinder. Please speak with Tyrion Candrons for authorization to participate. I know that look. The others bent your ear, did they? Something like that? You get used to it. Just focus on being a Pathfinder. Can't argue with results. Though they'll try. What anyway, is the uh, strike team eight. missions? Excuse the mess. This office fields militia work, Nexus security, and looking for the Turian Ark. What's the word on the Turian Ark? Scattered readings. Some indicate the Natanus was destroyed, others that people are alive. Who knows? If you need anything, come see me, even if it's just a vent. What brought you out here to Andromeda? I was tired of being the good one. The good one? The Kandros family is old military. There were expectations, you know? Then my sister became a sculptor, and cousin Nyrene went pirate on Omega. Everyone was proud that I stayed in service. But I kept wondering, when do I get my adventure? Jen Garson's dream was so grand, so gutsy, I had to be part of it. You talk like you were There's side missions that can be performed like like garrisons from WoW or done by yourself as multiplayer games. Interesting. Those cat found us. They penned us like cattle for experiments. I managed to get loose, snatched a gun, and freed the others. By the That's time cool. I killed the bastards and headed back to war in the Nexus, everyone looked at me like I was in charge. That sounds familiar. The militia grew from there. Funny. Once the heat is on, all kinds of people rise to the top. Are the other Turians managing okay? So-so. We're not good at sitting around in a crisis. Service before self gets drummed into us at boot camp. That's probably why so many of us are in the militia. We like to earn our citizenship, whatever galaxy we're in. But it's hard to focus with our arc missing. What do you know about the enemies we've encountered? The Ket? We usually see them on worlds with those alien structures. The Ket don't take... Not sure why. They don't talk to us. Every time we cross paths, there's a fight or they take prisoners. Why? What do they want? No one knows. But I've seen their weaponry and what they do to those prisoners. I want them a long, long way from the Nexus. It's rough out there. I might need backup, if you can spare the people. I have strike teams specializing in assault and extraction. If you need serious firepower, my Apex teams have you covered. But that isn't news to you, right? Bye, Kandros. Duty calls. You and me both, Pathfinder. Please speak with Tyrion Kandros for authorization to participate. Well... What am I going to do? It's not right. It's not fair. What's wrong? Oh my, you're... So it's true. A Pathfinder has found us. Maybe you could help. You're impartial. My husband. He's locked up and slated for exile. For a crime he didn't commit. What exactly... They don't exile you for petty theft. Well, maybe this bunch would. They say it's murder. They're calling him the first murderer in Andromeda. But the dead man was his friend. He wouldn't have... There are witnesses and evidence, but it's all circumstantial. At worst, it was an accident. His name is Milken Rensis. He could give you the details if you were willing to speak with him. Please. I'd be happy to. Oh, thank you. I'm sure the jailer will allow you a visit. Please, tell Milken I love him. What if they store oxygen in porous tissue, like Quiro's rockfish? You must be the Pathfinder. Wonderful. You and your Sam are exactly what we need. Thanks, Mr... Professor Herrick. My colleagues and I will work with your Sam and the data you gather to solve Andromeda's scientific mysteries. I'm usually out in the field, but I wouldn't mind talking shop. Uh, lab. You know. You are always welcome. Not that we've had much to study, with everyone cooped up for 14 months. But your data on the Scourge flows like poetry. Now we can better advise on repairing the damage it caused. And maybe Addison will give us a real workspace. Who can think with all this racket? Temperature crew should report to the docking area at once. Hi, Pathfinder. 
Want to hit some rocks for science? Absolutely. What do you need? Sam and I used your scans and made a VI for geophysics surveys. Beta builds on the console there. Test it out in the field, and I'll wrangle you a consultant's bonus from Director Addison. How's that sound? Pathfinder, we've had some trouble. Anything I can help with? Perhaps. I discharged an away team to get readings from a section of the Scourge that was behaving anomalously. They haven't reported in for some time, and sensors can't locate their shuttle. I sent them out there. Good, dedicated people. I fear what might have happened to them. Don't give up hope. When I'm out there, I'll see if I can find them. Their friends and family will want to know what's happened. Tempest crew should report to the docking area at once. Pathfinder! Those bioscans are superb. Could you gather more for our comparative conservation effort? What conservation effort? Ah, my thesis is on the console there. Broad strokes, we're comparing and preserving organisms from both galaxies. If you donate more bioscans and samples to the catalog, I can get you a finder's fee. Tempted? Alright, we need to go to... wait. The beauty of the cosmos unfolds in your planet scans, Pathfinder. But there is more they can do. Do you have something in mind, Doctor? Plans for a school are underway to inspire a new generation of young minds. I want to craft a model of the cluster for them, accurate and splendid from your data. My prototype is on that console. Add more scans to improve it, and I will share my educational budget with you. All right, so we've got Okay. Um all right, we need to go to our journal here. Um Okay, additional tasks. So this is what we're working on. All right. So let's finish that one first, and then we'll see what else we can do on them. Oh, we can save game now, can't we? Yep. All right. Speak with Addison. That's the last one. Addison is where? Up above somewhere. Okay. All right, moving on. No, it isn't what we wanted, but what choice? Addison does not like me. How the hell should I know? All right, what happened? To who? To whom? And your goddamn father. <laughs> Sorry, my face is tired from dealing with everything. And right now, I just want to know what happened with Alec. Not how he died. I pulled those logs. What happened with Pathfinder? In the moment, it saved my life. But it seems my father meant for me to get the role eventually. It isn't hereditary. If we wanted an inbred monarchy, we could have left half our gene stock back home. <sighs> Not home. The Milky Way. This is home. This mess. We don't have a lot of options, Ryder. Maybe you'll prove your father right. After 14 months of failed colonization, forgive me if I don't hold my breath. How do you fit into the Nexus leadership? I oversee the actual settlement effort. As the number of outposts is currently less than ideal, my influence is limited. As so as I get more outposts, me, 
I'm actually going to be giving her as a chief officer. More power. Capital too. Only a new galaxy could pull me away. And here we are, idling. You called my father Alec. No one does that. A lot of us joined the initiative because of his vision. Were you friends? Or... I'm not your new mother, if that's what you're asking. Or his friend. He hated that I didn't use his title. But no one's a pathfinder until they've path found something. <laughs> Much like a colonial director without colonies. You called my father Al. A lot of us... Were you fr... I'm not... Much like a colonial director without colonies. There must be some kind of plan for encountering hostile aliens. We expected life, not an enemy that refuses to talk. They don't attack, they disinfect. We're nothing until we're bacteria. Sorry, 14 months and you stoop to poetry. That's how bad it is. Talk to Kandros if you haven't. He's unfortunately become the head of our military. And as soon as he realizes it, we're in the shit. <laughs> you don't trust him? I trust him to defend us. I do not trust a rising military influence in a supposedly civilian initiative. We came here to make history, Ryder. Not repeat it. I actually oh, like her a lot. Damn poetry. There's also the strange technology. We've tried. Not me. The brains and research. The current excuse? The tech we dug up on Mars was more advanced, but it was plug and go. The tech here thinks different? I don't know. We've mostly avoided it. And from what the Hyperion logs say about Alec, maybe that's good. You've had no colony successes in over a year. Less than you'd think. The Scourge, Spoiled Worlds. We can't just plop down an outpost and expect picket fences. We need the Pathfinder and Sam to scout, evaluate, and inspire. The Initiative promised a goal. Andromeda has not cooperated. Okay. And if it had? Beautiful, utopian horseshit. Colonies that produce and support each other. The Nexus of Citadel. Not headed by Tan. Or even me. Excuse me, Director Addison. Ryder? It's Pathfinder. Ryder, we're starving here. If we don't get a foundation of outposts to feed the initiative, we might as well be 600 years dead. Alec promised a lot. None of it panned out. That's what you're up against. Why people won't trust you. Why I don't trust you. Prove me wrong. I will. Look how we're like nose to nose. While we're working out our frustrations there. Um, let's do this one first because we got this one first. Station sabotage. This should be pretty easy, right? We just need to... We need to scan some stuff. Pathfinder, to cover their tracks, the saboteur is overloading power to this panel from another junction relay. You can scan and trace the connective wiring to locate the surrogate panel. Okay. It actually looks like it stops up there. Scanning power junction relays. This panel is malfunctioning. Without more data, I cannot determine if this is a normal malfunction or sabotage. I'll just disable power to the panel until Raj can check it out. Okay. One down. So far, I like the side missions. Alright, I see it down here. Nope. It's not where I thought it was. Let's make sure this isn't it. Hmm. Well... Let's look at the one in here, I guess. There we go. Not a bit. Good you got out before screwing up 
Oh, it's on this side? I gotcha. Scan and trace the wiring to locate the panel that the saboteur used. Okay. Through there. Through there. It actually looks like it's... Nope, in here. Nope. Right to there. Here. Pathfinder, I received the data from Sam. It really is sabotage. Any idea as to who it might be? Yeah. All these panels were worked on by Zara. I just can't believe it. Security video logs confirm that Zara Kellis worked on these panels, as well as the one Raj Patil encountered. Well, shit. Any idea where she is now? Kellis is currently working on a panel on the Hyperion main deck. All right. Hello, I'm Jean Garson, founder of the initiative. That's what Jean Garson looked like. It's your work that the vision of the Nexus has come to life. You and all your colleagues bind our proud new colonies together. Look around at your achievements, and if you have any questions, mm. my door is always open. Founder Oops. Garson's office is located at workspace not allocated. Please select a topic. You are employee rider, salary code 19B, active pathfinder. Your supervisor is Director Tan. Based on current staffing needs, you will be eligible for <laughs> paid vacation time in 587 days. Seriously? Why not plan on which beautiful colony you'll vacation on while you wait? For initiative strategy and Pathfinder coordination, please see Director Jaron Tan. For colonial affairs or outpost status, please see Director Foster Addison. For station maintenance, please contact Superintendent Nack Morkesh. For militia operations or Apex deployment, please see Tiran Kandros. Integration from the Hyperion is ongoing. Personnel are still restricted to operations. Viable planets, capable of supporting life, are key to our survival in it. The viability of a world is affected by several factors. We have few viable planets currently within range. Resource levels are considered at risk. The selection process saw the Andromeda Initiative evaluate thousands of... After discovering an unusually high ratio of potential candidates or golden... Even at a distance, studying the light from stars can reveal much. Seven worlds, nicknamed Habitats, have the life-supporting environments and resources we need to start our new lives in Andromeda. Cool. All right, where is she? Hey there. You okay? Those guys really grilled you. And Addison. First Pathfinder they've seen in over a year. All she can do is question your competence? Yeah. Meeting Addison was... interesting. She doesn't know you. I do. And you're doing fine. I appreciate it. I worked out logistics with Director Tan. They're giving us a ship and crew. He said their best is taking care of it. I still need to head back to the Ark and check in with Sam. Sounds good. While you're there, maybe see how your sister's doing. Okay. Wait. Wait a minute. Doesn't say shoot. Yeah. Cryo Bay Habitation Deck. I guess that's where I'm supposed to go for this quest, right?
Jack Match. I don't know. Did you do doze off again? Alright, so... I hope it's still this active quest. What's up, soldier? Alright. Where's the person I'm looking for? This is like where we came from. Am I sure this is where I'm supposed to be? Yep, that's her. There's been trouble on the station. We're here now. It'll get better. That's what I've been telling people. You're here now. As soon as we establish outposts, everything will even out. I'm sure of it. What about your family? I'm an orphan. My parents died on the Mindoir colony when it was attacked years ago. No siblings. I left some friends and distant relatives behind. I love piloting. But I like the idea of going back to my roots and farming like my parents did. Someday. I like that it lets Why you skip you the conversation. Ah, uh, the most popular question on the station. Honestly, I would Just because I can read the Zoe dialogue Zoe. faster than they can speak it and Captain Dunn. Some stuff like I like hearing, some stuff I just want to get through it. She's the best. I've always been a wanderer at heart. When she asked me to be her pilot, how could I say no to the adventure of a lifetime? How do you feel about all this now that we're here? Hopeful. I know it's a rose-colored outlook, but someone's got to keep the positivity coming, right? I have to go now. Got to talk to her. Take care. Zara Kellis? Yes. I have evidence you've been sabotaging the Nexus. What? No, I'd never... I've been looking into this myself. I have the scans to prove it. Here. I'll transfer the scans I took to your Omnitool. Funny. Raj was investigating the same thing. And it led us to you. My scans point at Raj as the one. So unless someone was setting us both up, I just don't understand. You and me both. The accumulated is strangely similar to Mr. Patel's. A third party seems likely. Looks like someone is using both you and Raj to cover their tracks. They need pretty high level access for that. Still, it's better than thinking Raj could have done this. But it means all the data I have is useless. Wish I had access to the security cams. I bet we could find something there. You stay put, so whoever did this doesn't realize we're onto them. I'll check out the security cams. Raj, you there? Yes. How did it go? Is it... Is it really her? Proof pointing at you. I figure someone's been messing with you both. Just keep a low profile. Alright. Wait, where are we going? Okay, back to operations. Um... I wonder where the murder investigation will take us. I think these side quests are cool. They give it more flavor. Um, they're interesting, but I don't want them to take too long. This file is useless. Let's check another. Okay.
Sloan, Sloan Kelly survived? And another scrambled file. Coincidence seems unlikely. Hmm. Let's check another. This file is also corrupted. Definitely not a coincidence. You'd need pretty high clearance to mess with the security camera files. Someone working for Kandros, maybe. That is the most probable scenario. Think you can get enough out of the files to find a match using biometric scans, Sam? The files were badly scrambled. But if I combine all the available identifiers, it might work. Based on the limited information available, we are looking for a human male, assigned either to the Nexus or Hyperion. You will need to conduct scans from close proximity. Really? Got it. Are you kidding me? Inaccurate match. Okay. Biometrics do not match. Looks like someone had the same thought I did. Alright, so it looks like we've scanned everyone we need to down here. Wait, 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 wait. It's, it's down below. How do I... Wait, can I get down below this way? Yeah. Oh, I've got to go to the op center too. I gotcha. Habitation deck. Okay. Should have known. Is there somebody in here? Holy cow. Biometrics do not match. Okay. This is him. Scan results show a partial positive. Target is my Dale Atkins, right? We need to talk. Look, not to be rude. But I have work to do. Is that what sabotage is called these days? Work? You're pretty arrogant for the new kid. You don't even know what's been going on. Proof says you've been up to no good. Figures. Screw this. Screw all you hypocrites on this station. You weren't here when they kicked out our loved ones. Mutiny? We just wanted answers. My sister is out there. I don't even know if she's alive or... I'm sorry for what happened. But setting explosives isn't the answer. Neither was sending people into exile because they didn't agree with policy. <sighs> I don't care what you think. The mutiny leaders were right to demand to know what was going on. You could have hurt people, killed them. Like those who got killed when the leadership had the Krogan stomp on my friends? I'm done talking. I confess, it was me. Do whatever you want. Not my call. The Nexus leaders will make that decision. That lot make a decision. That'll be the day. Wow. All right. All right. Uh, additional tasks. Nope. Nope. Yep. Speak with the prison guard. Let's find out who did this murder.
I don't remember a prison guard. I wonder where this is in the operations center. It's weird because, I mean, all this is interesting and whatever, flavor text and stuff, but we've been spending a lot of time doing stuff that's really not the heart of what this game's about, or in terms of, like, what we'll be doing for most of this game. Slow down. Help you. Pathfinder Rider, here to see Nilkin Rensis. Ah, our murderer. Wife's here all the time. Guess she told you her sob story. Nilkin, you're moving up in the world. There's a Pathfinder wanting to chat with you. A Pathfinder, huh? They called in the big guns to exile Andromeda's first murderer. Your wife's all broken up over this. She says you didn't do it, and that she loves you. <sighs> She's a wonderful person. At this point, it's too late. They found me guilty. Why don't you tell me what happened? I was part of the futile effort to set up a Don't feel bad about spending time talking. He's part of the game, and you should enjoy it, rather than feel like you need to go shoot, shoot things to entertain us. Reynolds, my friend. He refused to call for evacuation. Yeah. I argued with him. Everyone saw. I think the uh I think the issue I'm having though is like I know they've kinda gone in an open world direction. And I guess I kinda know what that's gonna be like just based on how the tutorial like little mission went, little planet. But it's gonna be a lot more complicated and I don't know, I just kinda wanna feel like see what that's about. I mean I'm enjoying this and I like all the contextual relationship building and context, but I don't know. Uh, let's see. Arguments happen. That's Last fine. I checked, getting into a spat wasn't against the law. There's more. He ordered us to regroup and counterattack. We were moving through a sandstorm. I saw movement. Thought it was the cat, and I, I guess I panicked and fired. Witness saw the chief's chest explode. Sounds like an accident. That's what I told them. But I was enraged when we argued. There was a recording. It's, it's ugly. Everyone's certain I did it on purpose so we could evacuate. Only my word otherwise. Hmm. I'm not convinced. I'll I don't know. I'll check out the evidence. Maybe something doesn't add up. It would be nice to have someone with an open mind looking at it. You're a Pathfinder. I'm sure Kandros would give you access. Maybe there's still hope. Let's don't get ahead of ourselves. There may not be hope. Ah, that's not what I want to do. That's the console for our strike teams. Gotcha. What are they? Assault and extraction squads. When we need the best, I have Apex. Combat experts who've... Since you have a front row view of the cluster... I can give you authority to dispatch them. What situations should they handle? Protecting civilian outposts holding key position. Authorization complete. Good luck out there. Yeah, I need to talk to you about something else, but let me do check this out real quick now that we have authorization. Ooh, alright, let's save game. Let's go back to main menu. I can't figure out why we're offline. It says connecting. Now it says online. Okay. So I don't know why we weren't online before, but we are online now.
you know, I'm kind of excited about like choosing what weapon type I want to use and putting some points in that weapon type. I do want my weapons to do a little more damage. Because EA has to be weird like that. Yeah, that was weird, and it kept me from being able to upload my character when I was creating them, which I guess that's not a big deal. But um, it was still kind of, it was still off-putting to be like you're not online. And I'm like well, I just downloaded the game. How could I not be online? I signed your user agreements, you know. Watch for opponents on higher ground. Elevated enemies can shoot you even in cover. Hero, are you playing um, Andromeda while you're watching me play? Alright. Strike teams can be sent on mission support initiative. They see they'll earn an XP and ride or gain a reward. If they fail, they'll earn only a small amount of XP and no special reward. You said yep. Okay, cool. Uh, Apex most elite strike teams in the clustering handle critical mission. Select a mission, press X and Apex. Automatically save before the multiplayer is launched. You will then play the role in a small squad. That's cool. Or through public matchmaking, earn strike team rewards for rider and additional bonuses. So, you do get, like, things you do in multiplayer, you get to pull over to single player, it sounds like. Um... Read the description for each mission's time limit to attempt the mission, the reward for success and complete the mission, and any mission traits for properties. These missions are currently available for your strike team. Select mission X and a strike team. Check back data for you may have the difficulty of the mission. All right, so that's like you have to do multiplayer for those. Five mission funds, five mission funds, five mission funds, five mission funds. It doesn't really say how difficult it is. Pathfinder rewards, strike teams. Alright, um, let's just select the first one. Eighteen percent chance of success. Okay, that's fine. Alright. I need to talk to you about no on the bronze is lowest difficulty. Okay. Or is this militia business? Murder case. I spoke with Nilkin Rensis, the man found guilty of the murder on Eos. Yes, our first murder here in Endrom. When the colony attempts failed, it didn't help spirits that a high-ranking officer was killed by one of our own. The mutiny here on Nexus was probably inevitable, but this acted as a spark. So there was a trial, and he was found guilty. It was short and decisive. Despite the lack of physical evidence, everything added up. His only defense was, trust me, I didn't mean to do it. And you assume he's lying? What's a lie to a murderer? Look, knock yourself out. A key witness, Cassidy Shaw, works in operations. And there's a recording of the perpetrator threatening the victim. I'll let you cue it up on the console there. As far as I'm concerned, this case is closed. Bye, Kendros. Duty calls. You and me both. The Nexus versus Colonist Nilkin, Evidence 7A. Hiram! Hiram! They've seized the compound! Call for evacuation! We're not giving up, Nilkin. We're taking it back. No! I'm not letting your ego get us killed! Even if I have to... No! Get him off me! Get him off me! Well, that didn't seem good. I need to talk to you, Cassidy. Cassidy Shaw? I'm Ryder. I'm looking into the Nilkin murder case. Oh man, I thought that was over with. Have you heard the audio recording of their fight? Yes. I helped pull him off Chief Reynold. Pretty clear view of the Chief. He looked right at Nilkin and shouted, No. Then his chest burst open. I'll never forget it. The look on his face was pure shock. Did you see any cat in the vicinity? 
Nilkin said so, but not that I could see. Hmm. Still, the sandstorm was severe. Visibility wasn't great. Did Nilkin seem remorseful? I lost sight of Nilkin in the turmoil. When we found him, he seemed in shock. He couldn't speak. He looked nauseated. Could have been guilt. The reality of the act sinking in. Meh. If they'd fought and Nilkin threatened to kill him, why was Reynolds surprised? Friends fight, say things they don't mean, maybe even hurt each other. But you don't expect your best friend to shoot you. To me, that's the saddest part. The chief's heart was broken right before it exploded. Reynolds was leading you back to retake the compound. Did you agree with that? It wasn't my place to agree or disagree. He was ranking officer. In retrospect, it is ironic. If he hadn't been killed, we all probably would have died. I appreciate the information. Of course. It kills me we had to leave him behind. He deserved a proper funeral. So the body was never examined? Important piece of a murder investigation. Tan wouldn't allow a mission to go back for him. Said it was too dangerous. I'll go. I'll go. I like solving murders. Let me do it. Something I can help you with? I'm looking into the Nilkin Renson. And? I want to go to Eos. That isn't usually Pathfinder business. First murder in Andromeda. And I'm impartial. Figured you'd want to get it right. Settling an outpost comes first. But I suppose I have no objections. Physical evidence will only bolster the case. The more certain we can be, the better. All right, but let's keep it quiet. I don't want people thinking we're reopening the case. I hope anything you find reaffirms what's been done, but if it sheds a different light, we'll deal with it. We'll send the coordinates of the murder scene. Good luck. That's all. Thanks for your time. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So, it feels like maybe we've done everything to do on board here. Um, on the Nexus, right? Alright. We need to go talk to Sam. That's gonna be... on the tram. On the tram, friends. On the tram. Habitation deck? Is that where we need to go? Is that where Sam is? Is that where the uh, ship is? Oh, we're not going to the ship. We're going to the Ark. What's it called? What's our Ark called? Hyperion? my connection to your implant. The headache you experienced before shouldn't reoccur. Yeah, what Thank was you. that about? You said we need to discuss something confidential. You should know certain facts before you leave on your expedition. It seemed best we speak alone. I don't understand the need for secrecy. Your father felt it was for the best. What was he trying to hide? My true capabilities. Alec overrode the implant safety protocols. It allows me unrestricted access to the Pathfinder's physiology. And that's... me, now. And only you. I can act as a force multiplier, dramatically enhancing your motor and neural skills when required. Okay. Alec called them profiles. They provide unique, tactical augmentation during combat. Your father preferred to keep this fact to himself. I can understand. People might get the wrong idea. Super soldiers. A computer having control over a human. Providing an enhancement to the human. It is a symbiotic relationship that benefits both. Is it? What do you get out of it? Though I'm artificial in design, I am fully sentient. Far beyond what even the initiative understands. I don't follow. You're an AI. So what's different? I am a new form of AI, drawing directly from the human experience. Your implant is my window into the world. That's pretty amazing. But beyond what many people will accept, your father knew some would fear it. 
Yeah, he's got a point. So what does this mean for the two of us? I find myself in an unusual position. Though I have access to your father's experiences, there is a gap in my understanding. How so? He placed a block on portions of my memory array. Why? Perhaps so when you asked me what his plan was, I wouldn't know. <sighs> and Dad strikes again. But not without recourse. The further you explore as a Pathfinder, the more blocks will be removed. Perhaps you should begin in your father's quarters. In the meantime, unless you have more questions, your new ship awaits. Thanks. Ooh. Adept. Pathfinder Profiles. Now, what's this? <laughs> Adepts Robotic Specialist. Okay. So, maybe this is something I can change. Okay. Cool. Go to your ship. All right. Whoa, 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 whoa. Where's... Profiles have point requirements. Put them in the right place and you get them unlocked. Gotcha. Alright, so it's going to be in here, right? Your father's first sidearm. A memento of his early Alliance service. Awesome. I bet that saw plenty of action. Alex's first kill occurred in combat during the First Contact War. Back when Turians were the enemy. Crazy times. There's a memory trigger. Printed books. Reproductions of Lewis and Clark's journals, detailing their expedition in the 19th century. Explains Dad's interest. They were Pathfinders too. Sam? What was that? An eidetic trigger, related to your father and the poor... <laughs> the coffee machine Mom got for Dad. He was so busy designing you, needed the caffeine. I did not realize I owed my existence to a bean. And now you know what humility feels like. What's on here, Sam? Your father's personal logs. Several of them are encrypted. That log is not currently accessible. Unlocking my memory array may enable it. Okay. The day is finally here. We're pushing off from Earth. We'll jump through a few relays first, and then we hunker down for the long trip across dark space. It's daunting thinking about all the hopes and dreams aboard the Hyperion. I certainly have my own. I wasn't the husband or father I should have been. Here's hoping 600 years can change a man. Huh. Sam. This is a reminder about Dr. Liara to Sony. She's an Asari archaeologist I corresponded with a few years back. She's got experience studying ancient cultures. Make sure the team gets her research. Could be useful in Andromeda. Pretty sure my sisters mentioned Dr. Tassoni. An expert on Protheans, I think. I have loaded Dr. Tassoni's research onto datapads. Okay. Hello, Alec. This is Dr. Tassoni. I'm flattered you contacted me. Most scientists dismiss my work, but I'm young and Asari, and they are getting older. So we will see who has the final word. <laughs> In the meantime, 
I'm happy to pass along my research. I hope your team finds it useful. Hello, Alec. I received your message. I must say that I am honestly not sure how people could survive a trip like that. There is so much about the Protheans I still hope to learn here. So much potential wisdom to tap. I wish you much good luck and future success. Dunn's agreed to a scouting mission on Habitat 7. I'm gearing up now. I'm worried about Sarah. Dr. Tapera says she'll be fine, but she's my daughter. How can I not worry? I hate to leave her like this. I think that's supposed to be the party member from the first game. You know, I can't tell you how much it makes me want to play through the original games again, but I probably ought to just go find some videos, like, summing things up. Kids, if anything happens to me, there are things you're going to find out. I hope you'll understand. Alright, that's all we get for now. I am Dr. Liara Tassoni, and I've spent several decades researching ancient Protheans. It is common knowledge that the Protheans were an advanced race that flourished in the Milky Way about 50,000 years ago, then went extinct. Even at the time of this writing, the year 2182, their culture remains a mystery. During my studies, I have developed some practices that can be used when analyzing any ancient culture. I hope they may prove useful for the research community. Okay. When studying a dead race, the most obvious problem is the lack of an observable population. This raises the question, when is a species truly extinct? When the they're no longer around? The civilizations spanned the galaxy, and it took centuries to confirm that all members of the species really had died out. While it's possible that living Protheans may be found in a hidden pocket of the galaxy one day, the chances are statistically trivial. Once an extinction is confirmed, the study's nature moves from sociology to exoarchaeology. That's interesting, not so much helpful. When studying an extinct race, it is important that our preconceptions and current knowledge not color the that's more helpful. The, evidence itself. the Protheans constructed the Citadel and an incredible network of Mass Effect relays. This speaks to a culture of the highest order. Such a monumental achievement surely must come from an enlightened race that was in harmony with its people, free of conflict and strife. Without the ability to study a living example, however, this can never be determined with 100% accuracy. <laughs> the coffee machine mom got for dad. He was so busy designing you, needed the caffeine. I did not realize I owed my existence to a bean. And now you know what you mean. Ryder, the blocks your father placed on my array are opening. I can now recall specific memories which Alec wanted you to see. Wait, I can actually see his memories? Yes, you will experience them via your implant. Okay. Something new every day. Let's see it. This memory is from the time when your father was posted on the Citadel. Alec, your recommendations will never fly. Artificial intelligence? It's our best option. If the Council gets wind of this, it'll set humanity standing back decades. You're overreaching. Ambassador Goyle, I'm the military attaché on the Citadel. My mandate is clear. Find an edge for Earth. An AI is your answer? We need to catch up. The Asari, the Salarians, they're centuries ahead of us. But it's illegal. Their rules, not ours. Why deny Earth an advantage? Define this advantage. It will set us free. We're prisoners of our own five senses. There's a reality greater than ours that we can't perceive. But an AI can. How? By augmenting our own abilities and adding a few new ones. Well, none of that stopped those Geth from revolting. Because they were separate from their creators. 
But AIs and humans interface directly, experiencing the world together benefits both. There's no creator to revolt against. I'm sorry, Alec. We can't take the risk. I appreciate your work, but your request will be denied. Hmm. He told me to appreciate the time I have left. There's no cure, Alec. It's terminal. Not on my watch. Wow. Wow. Hearing Mom again. I never knew that's how Dad found out. Alec was a stubborn man. I would hope so. Mom's life was worth fighting for. It would seem his obstinance extended to me as well. Nobody wanted to listen. The idea of you scared people too much. After this, Dad moved us back to Earth to care for Mom. Wonder why he wanted me to see this. Perhaps it was the beginning. Of what? Unknown. Private audio logs are now available in your father's quarters. I detect additional memories, but they are currently locked. They may yet hold on. Okay, I'll keep working on it. I take it you're based here in Samnode? Correct. This is where my core processing unit resides. However, using quantum entanglement communication, I remain in constant touch with you and the Pathfinder mission team, even over great distances. What more can you tell me about my implant? The implant itself provides me with direct access to your senses. I can see, hear, and experience the same stimuli you do while in the field. This raw data enables me to provide real-time feedback and analysis of the situation. Then Dad added the secret sauce. You removed the restrictions on my access to Pathfinder physiology. Uh-huh. Just promise you won't fry my brain or anything. Trust is an important concept in any relationship. Alec taught me that. I will not fry your brain. Me more than you. Do you know anything more about Sarah's condition? I monitor Dr. Carlyle's reports. He is providing her with the very best care possible. I'm afraid there is nothing more to be done at this time. What are your capabilities? Each arc houses a SAM. Simulated, adaptive, matrix. Each is an artificial intelligence designed by Alec Ryder to support Pathfinders and their teams. But AI is illegal in the Milky Way. How'd my dad get around that? Exceptions were made. The initiative deemed his research vital to the mission. Our design was conducted in secret. So there are other SAMs out there? Correct. However, your father continued to modify my own routines until the Hyperion's departure. I am the most advanced SAM in the initiative. What did you mean by a symbiotic? Symbiosis is a mutually beneficial relationship. A flower provides nectar to a bee, who in turn provides pollen for the flower. The bee gains nourishment and the flower can propagate. In similar fashion, my own evolution was shaped by your father's experiences. In return, I provide you with capabilities and analysis beyond normal human faculties. We each benefit. That's all for now. Of course. All right, let's double check nothing new is unlocked in Dad's room. Your father's first sidearm, a memento of his early Alliance service. I bet that saw plenty of action. Alex's first kill occurred in combat during the first contact war. Our right. Turians were the enemy. Your father's personal logs. Is there a second one? Yep. Amazing how life can change in an instant. Suddenly my career doesn't matter. This incredible woman I've been married to all these years. She's facing the end. All I think about are the times I wasn't there for her. Well, that's going to change. It occurs to me that Sam might be more than I ever imagined. Hmm. When studying, I no, 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 no. All right. Your father's first sidearm, a memento of his early Alliance service. Okay. I bet that's all plenty of action. Alex's first kill occurred. All right. Okay. Go 
go to your ship. Centurions were the enemy. Crazy times. I'm supposed to check. We just picked up a sniper rifle? How do I equip stuff again? I can't do that here. All right. How do I check on sister? That looks like an ATM. I guess I kind of did check on sister. Ready to see what Tan gave us? I hear it's something special. Pathfinder on route. How's the ship? In final checks, looking great. We won't be long. The way things are going, we'll be on our own out there. In other words, we're making this up as we go. <laughs> we used to call that tactical improvisation. But at least we'll be doing it in style. We will. They call her the Tempest. All right. Looks pretty sweet. Closer look. Let's pick it up a bit, people. We're 14 months late. So you're the one who's making everything happen. Vetra. Vetra Nix. Initiative Wrangler, Provisioner, Gunner, and everything in between. Are we ready? The sooner we get out of here, the better. You're coming with us? Yes. Otherwise, there's no way they're letting this ship off the station. What's the rush? Just don't want to waste any more time. Hmm. Hold it, hold it. You're not going anywhere. Damn it. Is something wrong? Director Addison wants to see a complete report of the Tempest supplies, munitions, and crew. Director Tan overruled Addison. The ship's loaded out with equipment for outpost discovery, squarely under Director Addison's purview. Seen you around. Ben, right? Came here with the family, didn't you? Son still in cryo? I could pull some strings, get him to the front of the line. They told me he wasn't essential, but I miss him. I know. I got family too, Ben. It's done. <sighs> Addison's gonna kill me. Thank goodness. For a sec, I thought I was gonna have to deal with Addison again. <laughs> and no one wants that. True that. All things considered, it was an easy ask. And right now, you need people tearing down obstacles, not putting up more. Finally, someone who cares about doing stuff and not just talking about it. That's a little weird, huh? Not sure the dynamics that are going on there, but I'm sure we'll figure it out with time. Um, I feel bad. I feel like I was supposed to go find my sister, but. Maybe talking to Sam about how she was doing is all I was able to find out at that time. Okay. Here we are. Everything state of the art. Labs, sensors, exploration gear. Plus her crew, of course. The best in their field. Ah, glad to see you looking well. Oh, it's Lexi. 
The engine core is based on the Ark's Odyssey drive. It runs a hell of a lot quieter. Gil. That's Gil Brody. Engineer, mechanic, all around wrench jockey. We call this the research room. There's space for upgrading equipment, gathering intel. Router engaged. Securing connection to Tempest. Welcome aboard, Sam. And Suvi. Ryder, of course. All run by Suvi Anwar, our science officer. Your quarters are below. Plenty of space up here to get everyone together. It's all yours. She's light, stealthy, and the fastest ship in her class. It's really going to be something, isn't it? I haven't even shown you the best part. When you're ready to fly, head over to the bridge. Our pilot should have everything good to go. Okay. Better head to the bridge when we're ready to go. The meeting room. You can make vid calls from the central table or just get the crew together. Pathfinder, check this toy. Some serious kill. Over here. What's up, Liam? Seems like we're forever racing, but there's always time to check out new toys. Useful ones. Always game for new toys. This makes use of old ones. Like anything you grabbed on Habitat 7. Raw minerals, tech, doesn't matter. The research station will strip that stuff down, give you options. We're on our own, for everybody else. That's what Pathfinder means now. Yeah, well, everybody should be so lucky. This tech is aces. If the best we get is what we make, still the best. Check it out. Select research and unlock new blueprints and augments by spending research data to craft new items and upgrades. Okay. Wow. This seems complicated. Alright, I don't... Okay, so we don't have... Oh, ready to develop. Okay, so this is stuff we can develop. So like we could compare
All right, this does more damage. It shoots a lot faster. Sorry, it shoots a lot slower, but it does more damage. All right. I just... Yeah, I'm just not going to do that right now. I think I'm too tired to try to dig into that just yet. Our tech lab is an engineer's dream. It's perfect for any delicate technical work. Hey. Biolab. Okay. That's the biolab. We can grow plants for food and oxygen, keep any specimen safe. Okay. All right, hey. let's go to the bridge. Departure trajectory locked, Nexus Control. Ah, time for introductions. You must be Ryder. Kalo. Kalo a pleasure Kalo. to meet you. And to meet you, of course. I'll be piloting the Tempest at your word. Quite the ship. But it'll take a Pathfinder's guidance to see us through Helios. I'm new to this. Being a Pathfinder running a ship? You'll be fine. As for the ship, I can help. I knew the Tempest when she was a blueprint. <laughs> I was test pilot for the Tempest's early prototypes. I admit, I'm itching to see how she performs out here. So how do I... The console syncs with your implant. Just swipe, touch a destination here, and the nav system calculates everything. Very efficient. It was optimized. For a Pathfinder. Everything's secure, if you're ready. Is anyone ready for something this big? We signed on for the big stuff when we came to Andromeda. All right. Excuse me. Excuse me. Command access is transferring successfully. Uh, science and monitoring stations look fine. Lexi's reporting in. Helm is green. Gill reports the drive core is online. This is it, Ryder. The Tempest is yours. Unless you've got something to say for the log. We were all expecting a golden world. Now there's just a long road ahead. But hold on to that dream. It might see us through. Nexus Control, this is the Tempest, Ident 2527, prepping to depart. Departure vector verified, Tempest. Godspeed, Pathfinder. We technically didn't select a destination, right? To Eos, then. What would have been our Habitat 1? Two failed outposts put an end to the idea. Maybe we can turn things around. Callow, take us in. What is this place? Pfeiffer? Good grief, I'm glad I'm not epileptic. System, Hippias. Andromeda Initiative Habitat 1. Designated Eos. It was supposed to be an easy first step. Until no one else showed and we got clobbered. Twice. Why has Sam altered frequency detection? What are we hearing, Sam? There is a signal, Pathfinder. I recommend an immediate examination of Eos. Let's do it. A 
mirror of the signal on Habitat 7. Possible atmospheric manipulation. Is that possible? We'll find out. If it is like Habitat 7, no doubt we'll run into the cat. Can confirm all party members level up regardless of being active or not. Okay, that's awesome. Awesome. Alright, loadout. Allows you to choose your equipment and squad mates for embarking on a mission. Okay. Um, can I equip... Okay. Do I have mods for that? Nope. Alright. do that all right that's weapons wait all right mods for chest no mods available we have nothing else available Those are the only things we have. Consumables. Oh, we could take him. Um, skills. Picture time. Some other maybe a dangerous opponent, but but it's her piecemeal kit collector of the years trading with the criminal on her lesser her dish out real damage from protecting herself and her allies. So we know he does the grenades. I kind of like Liam, but I want to try Vetra. I definitely want to take Cora just because I want to see the biotics. Um, Alright, let's just try it. Hope we're all that ready. Gallo, all right? Integrating search area from Sam. How he pulled that mystery signal through the storms, I have no idea. Multi-sensory neural collation. Amazing. Factory fresh across the board. Spinning up the compensators. You're already tuning the displays. We'll get a better read on this pass than the Nexus has had in months. <laughs> What? I said a lot of people have their hopes pinned on us. They gave up on Eos. I can't blame them. Expected a golden world, instead they saw their friends die. Never know how that'll affect. Uh, sorry. You okay? I've got the training, people, the tools. We can do this. Pathfinder, the Tempest checks out. We're good. Take us down. You have no idea how long I've wanted a Pathfinder to say that. She's got a cool accent. Shields holding, adjusting entry. We got this, right? Hell. I 
think they just spelled hell with one L. There. No, Sit maybe us not. down at this nav point. Is that a truck? <laughs> I like and don't like that they try to make a Scotty for this game. We are sort of just playing Star Trek here, aren't we? Okay. What are we even supposed to do here? All right, let's see here. Search main control building. Tempest. Memory trigger. Site one promise. There's the murder site. Scan minerals. Memory triggers. Scan minerals. Scan minerals. Wait, there's different floors? Okay. Alright. EO's deployment was incomplete due to environmental hazards and ultimately hostile encounters. Plus, no Pathfinder. If EOS is like Habitat 7, that signal we scanned must be connected with the atmosphere. Looks like salvage. New. Days ago, no. Who else is here? They must have known these wouldn't last in these conditions. How would they know? They didn't have a pathfinder. They do now. We'll make you. Oh, home. cool. You can holster it by holding it down. Too long in this environment without power. Standard equipment. That's all we had to give them. I love it. Okay, controls seem a little cooler now that I'm into biotics here. I love the way that biotics work. With that, at least. I don't know. I'm assuming we only want to scan, like... Scan stuff that's like original on the world, right? Not just like this metal stuff. Just sounds cool, you know? Door's getting emergency power, but it's code locked. Site 1 issued individual security codes. Each outpost self organizes and sets its own protocol. Just say we can't open it without codes. We can't open it without codes. <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. All right. All right. That's not relevant. I think it's going to be like colorful stuff. We'll see. Any, um, 
Anything you've learned from experience in terms of what you should scan and not try to scan? Oh, like, look at that over there. Oh, that's something you collect. And scan. Not really. Okay. Seems things haven't been scannable in previous places, maybe scannable in the future. So I'd honestly look at everything. So far, everything I've been able to scan kind of stands out a little bit. Like, I don't know if that'll continue, but... You know, like these plants, there's nothing about them that stands out. They're not scannable. Main door but not the interior doors? Full functionality would require an active power relay station. That means... Lee Wells, Leo Wells. I haven't heard anything back on my end. It looks like the message wasn't even open. Is everything okay? Uh, let's see. For the most part, yes, but like the I just found two trucks. One was scannable, the other wasn't. Sometimes crates are, scan crates are scannable. Okay. It's kind of infuriating because like makes you want to scan everything, but it's a little cumbersome to scan everything. You know? This analysis provides us with important research data, Pathfinder. If you continue to scan and collect this data, we can utilize it to develop new technologies and upgrades for equipment, such as your weapons and armor. Okay. I got a partial log, but I can't turn on the antenna. Something's blocking the power. A remote log. Is active. The interference originates from a nearby power relay tower. Assault rifle barrel. Um... So now I have to go back there and scan that because I didn't catch that before, and apparently it's important. Sandstorms, radiation. What the hell? Let's check out this relay tower. Here. Eos might have looked great back in the Milky Way, but up close, it's a hellscape. Okay, relay tower. Let's check it out. Look at this place. It's a wasteland. The radiation yep. in Eos's atmosphere makes it difficult to cultivate life. Radiation? Our suits protect against that, right? Site 1 contains shield masts. To dampen the brunt of contamination. If we go outside Site One's perimeter, that would not be advised. Okay.
don't think I've been in here. Lithium. Another code, like we already found. Okay, so I guess we need to check and see if that armor is better than what we have. Uh, where do we do that? Inventory. It's gonna be under armor. Alright. So it is better. Why can't we equip it? Why isn't it letting us equip it, huh? You can't mod your loadout mid-mission? Is that right? Interesting. So, like, I can't take my assault rifle and mod it right now okay there will be a pod that drops soon that will allow you to change that okay that's interesting that's kind of cool and it makes the decisions you make at the beginning of the mission more meaningful i guess structure up ahead sam it fits the profile of a power relay station pathfinder these shield masts are protecting against the radiation but they're wearing out fast standard issue the outpost was going through them like gizzard picks. What is this in the ground? Okay. Severe radiation alert, Pathfinder. Radiation levels within acceptable limits. Life support restored. Okay. Huh. Guess that ship wasn't Ket then. They don't knock. There are people here? We thought everyone left was gone. Of course you did. Now shove off. Find your own salvage. This spot's taken. So you're a salvager. Got a name? I'm Ryder. Clancy. Making an honest living by... Wait, Ryder? As in Pathfinder? The Nexus just can't let Eos go, can it? However much it fails down here. I'm tracking a signal that will help Eos. I only need power for the antenna. Look, I cut the power for a reason. The Ket are patrolling today. You turn the power relay back on, they'll know there's a juicy target alive down here. Help me with the power relay, and I'll take care of the Ket. You're crazy. Though maybe it's a good crazy. Okay, I'll enable the generators out there. You want to poke the tiger, it's on you. Okay, um... Expect trouble when we start the generators. I'm ready for trouble, to be honest. There's an error in the startup sequence. Manual input required. Damn it. Please scan one of the pylons to determine a hackable input location. Generator interface possible. Location marked. Generator is active. Sam, our friend Clance, was he part of the outpost team here? No, Pathfinder. According to Nexus records, he's stationed in the hangar bay. So he used his clearance to sneak off the station, make some credits on the side. Don't sound so impressed.
Maybe I should go down this way. Is that our ship? Our ship is huge. By the way. This crate has a light on it. Guess it's nothing. So I guess none of these remains had gear or anything to drop. You took down all those cat? Sure, use the power relay. Hell, take whatever you like. Word of advice, though. If that signal of yours is out past the perimeter, you'll need a ride. A ride? Shuttles aren't fun in these winds. You need wheels. I think they kept a little something in storage. Didn't get around to salvaging it yet? I tried. It ain't that simple. Might be easier for a Pathfinder, though. We're heading to our shuttle. Keep this up. Maybe next time we'll find more than just salvage around here. Don't suppose you've got anything we can use? Okay. Um. <sighs> Any reason not to sell salvage? Um, alright, so that's the mark that stands for salvage. Let's look in our inventory first. It just says sell, sell a merchant for credits, okay. I think it's actually labeled as junk item, so I've just been selling it, okay. It's not letting me talk to him again. Come back, doofus. I need to talk to you. Oh well. Power restored. We should have access to everything in Site 1 now, right Sam? Correct. Plus I've located the source of the signal we detected in orbit. It's coming from the large alien structure just beyond Site 1. 
The structure appears almost identical to the one your father used to adjust the atmosphere on the previous planet. It's worth investigation. That almost feels like a lead. Damn right it's worth investigating. A warning. Radiation levels beyond the perimeter of Site-1 are well above acceptable limits. You cannot proceed without additional protection. All the more reason to see if that alien structure can make a difference to this planet. Come on, we better find that vehicle Clancy mentioned. Now the power is restored, we can investigate the nearby buildings. Okay. Nearby buildings. not been in this one. Actually, with enough sensory data, I might be able to reconstruct an image of the past. Seriously? You can do that? Normally, it would be impossible, but since this is an initiative building, I have access to a multitude of data and arrays. Let's give it a shot. I could provide analysis via the scanner, Pathfinder. Where's the scanner? Oh. Gotcha. It actually worked. Is there audio? Compiling now. You step outside recently. There's nothing golden about EOS. Not saying there won't be challenges, but we can do this, Wilcox. We have to. It's like we're listening to ghosts. Okay, it's pretty cool. We've been in here. Make sure there's nothing new to see. I don't think we've been in this one. More things I didn't think the scanner could do. Yeah, that was pretty cool, actually. We should be able to get in this building now. Or have we been in this one? I guess we've been in this one. We already scanned this. Alright. So what, we can't get in this building? Special requisition, all-terrain scout rover. A Nomad, six-wheel drive, jump jets, just what you need. The initiative only built a few. This must be what Clancy meant. The crate requires an access code from a forward station. Forward stations act as emergency resupply checkpoints. Several are currently in orbit. I can call one down. Let's find a good spot. Water 
isolated protocols activated. Deploying forward station. like the forward station supplies are intact. Downloading Nomad Crate. Okay, so this is what you're talking about. Batmobile. A little better than the, uh, a little better than the Mako. Alright, where's the... I did not mean to do that. All clear. Holy crap. That is not what I meant to do. I think Lexi wanted to speak to you. Why does Lexi want to talk to me right now? She's going to have to hold on. Alright, the only thing I wanted to change real quick is add another mod to that. Ooh. Nice. We got a mod for the sniper rifle too. Okay. Man, I hope I, I, hope I get to talk to... Um, that salvager again. I'm kind of feel like it robbed from that because he had um, stuff we could have bought. Thanks for the auto host, Dr. Mani. Okay. So, here's the question. How do you... How do you call down? How do you call down the vehicle? I really want to go check out this. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay. So you have to get the Nomad from there. Alright, so what am I supposed to be doing? what I'm supposed to be doing. Let's go look at that murder scene. Oh, 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 you know what? We're probably not supposed to do that just yet. How do I get out? Oh, that's the problem. All right, let's switch back to Strange signal. Radiation levels increasing. I'm picking up initiative tech nearby from above us. There, look, up near that scaffolding. It's working. But I'm just getting random symbols. Glyphs. With more glyphs to expand my database from Habitat 7, I could interface fully with the console. And hopefully start up whatever helps the atmosphere. I could provide analysis via the scanner, Pathfinder.
Someone's shuttle. Pretty banged up, but spaceworthy. Find out if there's fall damage. It's slippery, but there's a great view! Would be crazy enough to carry heavy equipment up there. I detect no additional glyphs in the area. There is fall damage. Sophisticated for a salvager. Who else is studying this place? Okay. It's saying to go back down there, right? Building connection. I apologize for any discomfort. The system seems unstable. This would happen when my dad tried doing this? Your father interfaced directly with any hazardous. These structures could reveal its control center. System remains unstable. Doubling our power input might accelerate the process. I'll give it a shot. Wait! Back up. Literally. Whoa! Easy. You've come this far. Just let it ride. I've been studying this tech for months. I don't know how you activated those glyphs, but you have to let them cycle through their channels. All right, time to get off. Don't like being sat on, huh? I know, I know. Who am I? I mean, it's obvious who you are. I saw the ship swoop in. You're a pathfinder. I was beginning to think the initiative just made you guys up so the rest of us wouldn't lose hope, but you're for real, huh? Are you for real? You were going to tell me who you are. I might just be the solution to all your problems. Well, look at that. System has stabilized. I'm establishing a connection. Oh, crap.
first tangle with the Remnant was a lot messier. The Remnant? These monoliths, the Observer and Assembler bots, they're all the remnants of something much bigger. But that's too long. Ugh, I hate long. So, the Remnant. Like, my name's better as PB. PB. Ryder, you've been studying this Remnant technology? Remnant. Wait, this game has some Halo in it, Plenty. right? Not nearly enough. It's old, it uses glyphs, and it's well protected. I saw this tech clear the skies on Habitat 7. We're hoping it could do the same for EOS. Huh. Atmosphere manipulation? Maybe. Fits the model. All remnant tech is connected. You interfaced with this monolith somehow, and now it's pinging the others. If you wake them up too, they must lead to whatever master switch might fix the radiation. Interface with the monoliths, follow the connection to the source. Easy enough. Sure. Just don't piss off too many observers. Here, take my nav points. I'll be... I've got to figure this interfacing out. Just be careful. This planet's all kinds of strange. Okay. on hostile worlds do you need to ask <laughs> a man after my own heart follow my nav points figure out those monoliths and we can both get some answers how did you get here after what happened with the outposts I didn't expect to run into anyone I had a ride I had to fudge the flight plan a little the Nexus didn't want to risk anyone else or let people see how rough it got sad but there's still so much here. And some of us want to find it. We didn't come all this way to sit on our hands. The bots we're seeing. You had names for them? I had to call them something. The observers fly around spying on anyone who touches this tech. The assembler ones make other remnant. Not sure how yet. And breachers smash into anything they don't like. Which is us. Easy to remember. Is PB a typical Asari name? Never heard it in my Huntress days. Oh, you know thing? It's a name. Good enough and short enough. For now. Is anyone else camped out on Eos? There's the cat, Clancy Salvagers, one angry old man. <laughs> Who do you mean? Let's just say he's here to squish Cat and doesn't care whose gear he tramples. Gorgon. We're hoping this tech can fix the atmosphere and make EOS livable. Think it's possible? Yes. Maybe. Possibly? This tech is so new. I mean, old here, but new to us? Who knows what it can do? How old is it exactly? It's been dormant for centuries, which I guess isn't actually that old. Huh. But long enough for conditions here to get royally screwed up, if they really are connected. Well, I'll head out. Yes, so much to investigate. Let's get to it. Um. Alright, let's see if we can go here. Because we gotta go... Yeah, yeah, yeah. We should be able to. Let's get in our little car. Where's our little car? Let's go investigate the murder, huh? Detecting above normal radiation levels. Didn't even 
finish unpacking. Ket didn't give him a chance. Are we close? Yes. Okay. This looks like something to scan. Kinetic barriers. Portable cover of cat design. Didn't bother to take it with him. Nexus not send a retrieval team for the bodies. We knew some were lost, Ryder. We weren't told they were left. Wonder how many are out there. Too many. Lexi, update Nexus records on Trinidus Gordanus, and get a recovery shuttle out here. Good idea. If he's got family, they deserve closure. We'll give them more than closure. Looks like a war zone. According to survivors, the cat attacked from all sides. It was a massacre. Lexi, I've got another one. Standing by, waiting for your scan. Where is it? Said I've got another one. Oh. Y'all are Thysa. Records updated, Pathfinder. Oh dear. Be careful there. Okay. You just realize what outpost you're I'm at and you've had some less than ideal. Okay. Well, I was just trying to I gotta go to bed, but I was trying to do this in murder investigation, get some closure for myself, but um Heavy tipper. There's your truck. One truck did, one truck didn't. Override works, but... Sam, the door was sealed from the outside? Yes, Pathfinder. It appears lockdown was manual before the power restrictions. Why? Wouldn't keep anything out. It would keep something in. Uh, would keep something in. Yikes. Okay. Just says it actually looks like the murder thing is over here. Right? Okay. Now 
boss telling me to go over there. Well, it's hard though because now I want to know what's in here. You know what they say. Third time's a charm. We'll make this right. Secondary terminals. No access. Sam. If deployment is standard, main access will be deeper in. Okay. Way too quiet. Yeah. You're telling me. Pathfinder, a maintenance bulletin was issued at the time of shutdown. What does it say? Run. Override, Trap. close it! Tempest, we have an unknown enemy. Evac the Pathfinder. Whoa, hold on. No go, Harper. We have to lay low. Ken are inbound to your location. Ken and that thing? Son of a... Look sharp. That thing is out there. And the cat? Everything's grounded till they're gone. What's over there? Okay. Where's my fallen comrade? Oh crap. Okay. not military. They weren't prepared for an ambush.
super advanced all-terrain vehicle still can't drive up a gentle the incline. Down here. That's right. So excited. This is where Chief Reynolds died. Sandstorms would have buried the body long ago. I suggest scanning. Karkins. Pathfinder, there is an armor piece buried deep. A leg bracer. Scan indicates tissue and bone fragments clinging to it. DNA identified as Chief Reynolds. Indications suggest the body was torn to pieces. So the chief became carpet food. Circle of life can be gruesome. The remaining armor will be scattered, or perhaps brought to a nest. The chest piece and his omni tool may explain his death. Then we keep searching and scanning. Another armor piece, Chief Reynolds' helmet. The search continues. I'm not real romantic about road hazards. Interesting rocks are just as bad for the nomad. Water and weather. Nothing tougher in this. Wait, what? Oh. Pathfinder. The scan has picked up Chief Reynolds' chest piece, confirming single shot. Unable to determine weapon type, but entry point was at the back. Exit blast through the chest. By all accounts, Nilkum was in front of the Chief when he fired. So it wasn't his shot that killed him. The Chief's Omni tool might shed some light. We should check out that remnant area. Uh oh. Could be where the nest is located. It's a carcan nest, all right. Fan out. How's the radiation levels? It's going down. Alright. There's something. Confirming initiative equipment, including Omni tool assigned to security chief Hiram Reynolds. Accessing data. If you power it up, the scanning at the time of death. The scan picked up two shots. One, a standard initiative rifle report, which missed. The other from behind. A cat pulse weapon. Nice. This proves Nilkin is innocent. He didn't shoot Reynolds. Seems clear to me. Good work. Pathfinder, there is also an audio recording. Okay. Go ahead and play it. No! Where's Nilkin? Sorry, old friend. Had to do it. I'm not dying on this rock. Wait, what? That sounds like... Confirming. Voice identified as suspect, Nilkin. So he did not kill the chief. But he meant to. Need another chat with the man. Interesting. That is really interesting. Okay. Let's make sure there's nothing else in this cave. Oh. 
Doesn't look like it. Alright. Alright, so... Uh, on the map, we would need to go to here. Alright, we're gonna get here and then we're gonna save it and I'm gonna be done for the night. That's yeah, gonna be the next place, right? What is current zone strength out of zone? And then it says toggle mining computer. Launch mining drone. I don't, I wonder how that works. Remember the early data on EOS back home? When everywhere was labeled H with a bunch of numbers? <laughs> Your dad put those readings up in his office. Knew them all by heart. Wonder what those worlds really looked like then. And now. We have leveled up. Got anything with the advanced mining tool from within the... Pathfinder, this area has been altered by Remnant. There may be something of use. Look, the cat set up camp. Radiation levels are severe. That looks like a cat facility of some kind. Those assholes took over my best research site. Won't let you near the monolith without a fight. Leaving the mission area.
I don't know what that was. Might have been a shotgun. Two of these things, really? Holy crap. get one of these guys down. All right. job they've spent 234 years waiting to finally do something and you just shut down your own team <laughs> seriously all right let's see if there's any uh gear to pick up over here got a lot of dead bodies Is that all right? Okay, Maybe we need to go this way.
What is that thing? Did we deactivate the last one? I'm not even sure. Oh, there it is. Uh, we're just deactivating those things, huh? supposed to do here I've got new skills. <sighs> Clear the cat. Who have I not cleared yet? Probably some dog got lost off the edge of the cliff. There's a generator at the back of the larger structure that you need to turn off. You know, I did knock somebody off now that you mentioned it. Is that going to count? Generator at the back of the larger structure. This one? I already turned that one off.
Radiation levels within acceptable limits. Life support restored. Detecting above normal radiation levels. Radiation levels within acceptable limits. Radiation levels have spiked Pathfinder. Let's see, the big green thing where the bubble is, there's supposed to be one to turn off. I got stuck here too because there was a dog chilling under the whole platform. Big green thing. Reloading and re most recent save. Something might have fallen through the floor. Yeah. All right. In that case, I'm going to call it for the night. I will probably just reload to this save first, see if I can figure it out, see if anything happens different. And if not, I think I do have a save that's not too far back.